Oh, shoot. Hi, everybody. I'm Shauna, and this is Ring of Light Crafts. Um, give me a second while I get everything going here. Today, we're going to go on, and we're going to start a project. Hi, Melissa. Today, we're going to be starting. A, hi, hi, Mel. Red's not with me right now. She's cooking a wonderful dinner. Can't wait. So, we're going to be doing something that would take several steps to finish. So, I thought I might as well go ahead and get it going now. Hi, Patty. Um, so anyways, let me just do this one thing and we are ready to go. I just got to make sure I get this. I just got to remember how to do it. It's pretty bad. Huh? It's been a while. The only thing you would need from this and you will need Mod Pod, paper towel. Uh, in a second, you're going to hear my voice again. So I apologize. Um, oh, thank you, Buckeye, for sharing. Oh. Posting that. Um, okay, I'm trying to get rid of this is what I'm trying to do. And it came on faster than I could do anything. So we're going to make it work for us. Um, I don't know how to do this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I'm not going to do it. I'm going to call it good and put it in God's hands and be happy with what I got, right? I just have to tell one person. I should have done that. Well, I couldn't do it before I came on because it won't let me. But I'm done, so that's done. Get that out of my way. Get that out of my way. Okay, so what we're going to do is get rid of this dying little laptop thing here. Literally, it's on the last leg, guys. <laughs> but it's cool. It's been a good one. I'm not complaining. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a project which we will be working on for the next few lives. Um, what you're going to need, and yes, this is something that Nana did, but not quite. Um, so you, you can check her out too. That's good. Um, yeah, just check her out. Judge for yourself. I, I can't say that about anybody. I don't have the right to tell you what you have to like or don't. Um, well, thank you, Melissa. I really do appreciate that. I appreciate you. I appreciate you all. I'm kind of awkward today because I'm not feeling so well. But what we're going to need today, so let's get started, is one of these. You guys, don't get fooled when you go to the Dollar Tree if you want to try something similar to this. Okay, because they're all two. At first I thought, oh, there it is. How can, how can that be? That won't even do a portion of one side. Of my models that I'm making. By the way, we're building a creature. It's a Halloween thing. So, and I want her to be approximately five, three to five feet. So, the little ones are just that little things you put on your desk, you throw papers in. Not going to work for what we want. Um, I actually did start it, but it doesn't, it just won't cut it. So, what we need is a bigger one. There's still a dollar at the Dollar Tree, you guys. Um, take off the tag all I did is something really simple okay um, if you got the proper cuddles use them but of course I do not because I lost mine so what we do is I'm just gonna show you and then we're gonna I'm gonna give you the idea of where to start from all I did was put my scissors right in one of them and just snip it and you're literally just gonna have to go all the way around oops cannot do two at once not with this kind um, my scissors are dying because I've done this on another one. And if I didn't have my hand backwards, it would be a lot easier. So here we go. Just get them in there, get them to cut. And while you cut them off, take it all the way around. Just get it gone. You don't want to save the top edge at all. I recommend if you want it to go ahead and cut off the little excess that's going to be on it and recycle the little rim. You can make a beautiful pot, hanging pot holder anything out of that little rim and you guys I noticed this time I have little pieces flying so watch your eyes and if you let your children do this or young teens you know just watch your eyes because I already got a piece in my eye and that was my carelessness it didn't happen on the first one so I didn't think it would happen so let's get this going I'm gonna go ahead and cut it I'm not gonna cut it perfectly but I'm actually just doing this part to show you guys whoops don't want to cut my hand. So this is a piece I'm talking about. You can save this and if you macrame, I believe it's called, 
or any type of uh, yarn and make yourself a little pot hanging pot holder and you got the rim already to support it so we'll just toss that out of the way so now that we got our edge cut remember that these are sharp you guys so when you're making them don't cut yourselves okay and what I'm gonna do is simply debate which is front and back and since I have this on the front by me I'm gonna go ahead and say this is my front and I'm gonna count from here I'm not gonna count the part that are already cut don't worry about those what I'm going to do is I'm going to count, let me get a hold of this, I'm going to count, not this one, count this here down, I'm going to go by five. So we're going to count five, not counting this here, the broken one. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and I'm just going to go ahead and snip that. I'm going to turn it around, sorry guys. Go ahead and snip that so I know I'm, I'm going there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and go up. And I'm actually cutting from the part I'm keeping is one underneath the one we just cut. Okay, because we don't want to keep the cut part. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay. So I went ahead, I cut this one. I want to keep this back side because I'm going to fold that away. I want to keep this edge here. But I only want it five or six down because that is, I'm doing a, a female. So on this female body, uh, bear with me, the children, parents, I apologize. But you do want to show a certain amount so that you can tell it's obviously a difference between a female and a male and not just a sculpture of a figure. Um, on this one, I want. So now I got this extra piece here. Like I said, this is, kind, this is similar but not quite. Nana used the same thing, but this is not what Nana did. Um, so I just don't want anybody to think I'm taking her ideal. Um, Let's go ahead and then you go to the other side, which once again, I'm going to flip it sideways so and just cut it off and get rid of it. We're going to go ahead and the part that it bend down, it'll go down to exactly my five or six, whatever it was on the opposite side. I do have that piece of bent. Let me just cut that. I don't want it in my eyes. I always got a piece of metal in my eye or whatever it is. Okay, so what I took out is this little triangle. This little triangle is a separation of the chest area, if you will. So, we just take this, throw this away, I recommend, because it's very sharp pieces, and you don't want to step on that. Now, our next step is we, obviously, it's a female. Let me lower you guys just a little. You didn't come to see me. Um, we're going to go ahead and start. What I did was I started by taking my fist, putting my fist in the center here, on one side of the triangle that's cut out and I'm just gonna push okay I'm just gonna push give it a little generalization idea of where it may go where they may go and now I'm gonna stop and I'm just gonna mold it and I'm bringing it down to the bottom and I'm just squeezing the bottom in and you're gonna do that all the way around you guys and just get that to fold it seems like they're collapsing you're getting a little smaller triangle which is what you want so that's all I'm doing. Remember, she will be about well, three to five foot. Depends on what we're actually done with or what we decide. If we give her a head and face, we decide. Okay, I'm just making sure that I got that straight. Okay, so now we got our little so-called waist here, which she will be sitting on something else, so it will obviously give the rest of the torso and a connection for her legs. Um, come back here and where the bust line would be you're gonna pretend that you are doing clay if you work with clay and you're gonna smooth it in push it a little smooth it down don't worry about something bending or not going quite right because this is extremely flexible and you can go back and reshape it and this is all we're doing is we just shape this to the shape the fullness that you want it to be or not full it's totally up to you and then we just come over here now the center piece here where they are I'm pushing this in okay just gonna push it in give it a separation there and now we're gonna bring this pup back out just to give it the line where the belly and the chest bone is because we're not trying to hide her figure um, and come right back up here and you just shape it 
That's all I'm doing. Pushing it with your fingers, you get it to go exactly where you want it. And to match them, kind of at an angle, you guys, you can take your fingers, or you can just use your hands and see where they're at. See, one is actually higher, and I can, believe it or not, this can sound really weird, you guys. Um, hi, Lindsay, I think it is. Sorry, I can't, if I mispronounce your name. Um, this here is actually, you can feel that they're not right. So once, if you try this, you can actually feel that there's a difference. This one's fuller than this one. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to push this one out more. And just kind of give it more of a round of shape. We'll do the same over here, but I'm not really pushing out on this one because it already had that. We just want to make sure we keep them about the same width. So believe it or not, they're pretty good. And then I would just go ahead once again because I don't want the waistline too big. But because this is going to be a fictional creature, um, you guys, with me, I can see like five different creatures already in my head here. And by the time this is done, the only thing we all guarantee right now is it's going to be female. <laughs> and it may be both. I mean, I said we can't, right? It's all, you do what you want with it. It's your creativity. Don't let no one tell you that you can't do something. Be creative. Use your imagination, have fun with it, and just let your hands go, you know, just jump right in there. So anyways, so far this is what I have. So you can get the idea she has a slight figure. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and set this one aside because I already started one. I'm just going to set this one aside. And I'm going to pull this one out. I did the exact same thing. I just She's a little bigger in here than that one. So what I wanted to show you the next step. So once again, as you can tell, she is bigger. But my indent here is a little smoother than what that one was. And this is more prominent. If that's more prominent, you don't like it, push it out, you guys. It's okay, just push it right on out. And then you got your little bust form. And now, I'm gonna scoot you guys back. Uh, very just slightly sorry guys I know the mess and my shelf here fell down with all my I was cleaning it out I had flowers here fell and actually hit me in the head so now I rearranged my flowers but everything else is still yeah pretty bad so I have this whole section here and it just crashed it doesn't pay sometimes <laughs> so what we're gonna do is you're gonna take the Mod Podge and I always hate the smell of this stuff so bear with me and this time, I really have to get rid of this because I never did. Let me just pull that out. I don't want that inside my Mod Podge. This is just a top cover that, for some reason, never came out. Okay. God, I hate that smell. I'm going to push that way away from me. Now, what we're going to do is get some paper towels. Now, you guys, these are not Dollar Tree paper towels only because a Dollar General had a great opportunity, 50% off their clearance. So, if something was 6 bucks, it was 3 and there was an eight pack for three dollars and fifteen cents, so I grabbed it because that would be eight bucks at the Dollar Tree, and it was only three fifteen at Dollar General. So always try to find your best deal. Of course, money is well, unfortunately, money is money and it's valuable. So I normally I would use the Dollar Trees, but since I have this and it was cheaper, we're going to use it. And I want to say it was Scotts or something. I don't know. It's just a paper towel. So. I will probably actually end up using all the rolls. I simply tore it into the little tiny section. This is like, what, two and one? Two makes one sheet. We're gonna toss that out, whoops. Sorry. Toss that out of our way here. And we're gonna bring our Mod Pods. I am gonna put some of the Mod Pods. I had a tray. I was like, I had a tray. Surprise, I have a tray. <laughs> Normally I dip right out of it. I'm just gonna put a bunch of this in here and fill it up. That way I can get rid of this. Less smell, the better off I am. Okay. I'm going to rotate it so it's away from my side here. And now what I'm going to do is, however you start this, you guys, if you want to do it on the inside, do it on the inside. want to do it on the outside, do it on the outside. But since this is going to be a creature, I'm actually going to do it on the outside because I might decide to put scales or thorns or anything coming out of the body. This is a Halloween thing, you guys. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, 
you take your cloth, your Mod Podge, you do however you can get it on now. All I'm going to do with this, and yes, it'll make a mess, but I don't care. I'm just going to sweep this on now. I'm just getting started. It's like I'm painting it. I'm making a huge mess on my new table. That's okay. And I'm just going to rip pieces. And I'm just going to apply it. The hardest part to get stuck really would be this part. And I say that because, one, you're trying not to bend it again because you want the shape you got. But, two, you also want to get the top because you don't want it to stab yourself or anybody else in case you decide not to add a head. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to add this on here. And I wish I had a better brush. My brush, you know what? My brush is just dying. I was going to add... And just get this going. You can also, you guys, do this with clay. Which may be what we end up doing. That sucks. I don't want clay. It takes longer. I just wanted to do something very simple. So let's just do it little by little. And get this going. Go ahead, and go. go ahead and tear that off. Bring it up here. Now what I'm going to do, because I'm having problems making it stay, obviously it wants to come off again. So... We're going to make it go both sides. And that way it has some thin grafts on the other side. Come on, I know you walk. I know I can do it. Get in there. Of course, you don't succeed. Try again, right? So we get this here going. There we go. It gives it something to hang on to, which is what I should have done to begin with. Okay. I'm not going to worry about that part. I'm going to flip it and just add some here. Oh my goodness. I never ever had problems with this before. We're going to make it work. <laughs> We're going to make it work, guys, okay? I know I've been out of it. I've been sick for quite some time, but we're going to make this work. Okay, we'll just get this going a little. I do not want to add to add mod, I mean, um, do it with clay or anything like that. I just wanted it really, really simple. And once again, all you're going to do is continue to tear off your paper towels or newspaper, whatever you got. Like I said, these were at the Dollar Tree, so I'm just going to use these. Oh, excuse me, not the Dollar Tree. Family General. I got them cheaper this time. Usually it's the Dollar Tree. And we're just going to go ahead and apply. And once this, the whole point of this, excuse me, once I get this covered, I can go ahead and once it, like, maybe after two layers, my third layer, we can start sculpting it. We can start adding horns if you want. You can add another head coming out of the back side of it if you want. It's totally up to you. There's absolutely no limitations except for your own imagination. I truly, truly do believe that. Matter of fact, this was just something I thought, oh, I want to make a creature. Buckeye Girl and I were talking about uh, Halloween. She made a Halloween wreath, and I thought, Halloween's coming. I've been wanting to make my creature. I call them creature because none of them have names until they're made. And then they have a character name. Like, I have my other creature up there. He is not finished. And I have to buy a something gun to finish him so he won't be finished for a little bit. I'm hoping by this summer, well, excuse me, this Halloween coming up, he'll be out on my lawn. And unfortunately, I think I will probably have to put some kind of a lock on them because they will be huge. We do get major gusts of winds around here. And I don't want him to blow away. And I don't want no one taking him. <laughs> Because by the time he's done, they're done, they'll probably be worth several hundred dollars. Just in the creative process. Not necessarily in the value of the item. Anymore. But for fun. Who says we can't have fun, right? You can do this with your children, you guys. Um, grandbabies. Sisters, brothers. Uh, kid projects. You can do the Mod Podge with paper towels and stuff like that. With kids projects. Um... Once we get this going and we get to the second and third layer, which probably only have to have th three layers. And the reason why I say three is, yeah, I want some of the wires behind it hidden. But as I look at it, I don't know if you guys can see it. 
if I actually look at it, see the detail coming through? Isn't that a pretty cool? It's like, like scales or something coming off of her. So we just may, she just may take a total turn. And that's another thing. You guys, if you're planning something, even if it's a reef, and you have it absolutely planned to a T, you know exactly how you want it, and you start making it, and then suddenly out of the middle of nowhere, you're like, oh my God, that would be awesome. Don't be afraid to change what you were doing. Don't be ashamed to alter how you were making something, because it's okay. It really is okay. It's yours until you sell it, if you want to sell it. But no matter how you look at it, it's okay. Just go with it. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to lower you guys because you don't come here to see me. So let's just lower this. Sorry, I'm not trying to be preachy. I just really want people to go ahead with their own ideals and have fun with it. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm sure you can hear the kids in the other room. Like I said, Red's cooking dinner. Yay, us. And we get to enjoy some homemade Korean food. Um, let me just see if I can just get that stay down. I'm flipping it. And it may take a while. It'll have to dry. And then we can come back and do it again. And I want to make it where it's sturdy enough that this basket will be sturdy enough that I won't have to worry about having any issues from it. Um, that way, here we go, sorry. That way, once this is all nice and dried, and it'd be hard, it won't be so flimsy. So once I, we do finish it, we put it out on what we're gonna do with it. Hopefully the wind won't blow it away and it will be nice and sturdy. Like I said, we do get some pretty good gusts of winds here. Even in the summer, it seems. It's pretty cool. So what I'm doing, guys, is I'm putting down the Mod Podge. And then because there's nothing holding it yet, it hasn't caught and I haven't been a wolf with that, I'm going up and down with my favorite paintbrush, which will actually probably be dead after this. But that's okay. And um, it's been dead a long time. <laughs> I'm just pushing it through those little holes just to kind of hope that it will catch. If it doesn't, I'm not going to be upset. I'm just going to move on and do it again. So there we go. Pick that back up. So it's starting to catch. I did not want to catch, but that's okay. We'll just do it again. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to do it all the way around. And then we will let this section dry. And then we will eventually, when we come back, let me raise you guys up without my hands touching the system here, sorry. You will be able to go ahead and put on the second or third coat. Or continue to design it from there. Let me go ahead and just add some of this. If the paper wrinkled, you guys, it's okay. Because it's just like paper mache is all I'm doing. Basically putting down a glue. Uh, glue. So we're not going to worry about it. Um, you guys, in case you do know her, or don't know her, either way, um, Tammy from Ginger's Reefs and Things, she will be doing a live tomorrow at 3, I believe it is, uh, Pacific Standard Time. She's been gone for a while. Her husband's been dealing with cancer, and guess what? He won. Yes. Uh, he kicked Cancel's butt. So, she will be going live and making a beautiful reef. And then Buckeye from Buckeye Reefs and Things, she started a group. Um, kind of like a, just to have fun with, everybody learn about, to help you with something you need help with, or vice versa. So you learn from her and she learns from you. Which is awesome. She also has a couple of uh, contests going on, a battle contest. If you want, you can check her out. It's um, Buckeye Girls VIP, if I remember correctly. And guys, feel free to check them out. See how it goes. And let me get this going here. Okay. So I think this will actually work. 
Yeah, my hand got stuck. I glued my hand down. And go ahead and just add some wool. So all we're doing is basically just as if we had paper mache, which in this case, paper mache might have been a better ideal because one is heavier. Two, it's um doesn't cost as much. In case you don't know how to make paper mache, you guys, what the the formula is is some flour, a little bit of salt, salt, and water. Some people add a little bit of Elmo's glue to it, just to make it thicken up, you know. And you put your paper, your newspaper in it, in long stringles or short, and you just dip it in there and wipe off the excess and put it on what you're doing, similar to this. And you don't paint it, you're totally using your hands with paper mache. And with this, you really cannot just use your hand because it is a glue. And paper mache, it's just flour, water, a little bit of salt. So you have it made. And let's see. Now we can go ahead and go around to the bus line. See, it is starting to hold, which I'm very happy about. And another thing with paper mache, guys, um, if it gets on you, the last I heard, it never stuck. I mean, it sticks on you, but it comes out is what I'm trying to say. Um, so you don't really have to worry about ruining your clothes. At least I never did. I don't worry about ruining them anyways. I'm one of the weird ones. They get paint on them. They get paint. <laughs> um, so here we go. She's starting to take her form, form, which is pretty cool. I hope that this got shared because, oh, we might, can't say that word, can we? Well, I wasn't asking. I was just stating. Um, you guys why I got that on my brain. Show you the inside here. And we're just going to go ahead and take it down. And this is going to make me sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Between this spell and my allergies. Ugh. At least I get to go see an allergy doctor. So, yay. Friday, yes. I'm not wild. I'm allergic to. I'm going to go ahead and add some extra here just to help that hang on to. And once again, I can you guys see that? Oh, I can lower you guys. Hang on. There we go. Perfect. So once you get the piece down here, just go ahead. And I'm just stab Literally, I'm stabbing it, you guys. I'm just getting that extra paper and glue to go through here. And hopefully catch on to the other piece. And if it goes, well, good. If not, well, we just try something else. And here we go. Now, I'm going to go ahead and flip that over. And we're just going to go ahead and paint it down. See, with the paper mache, guys, just your hands. Just molding. Just molding it. With this stuff, you may not want to. Actually, I think I just might just because I don't think it's toxic. But I never read the backing, so I don't know if it's toxic. If anybody does, let me know. Hey, you guys, if you have a business page or group, feel free to post it on here to um, let people know that you have it. It's out there, and maybe they can go check it out if they like. I'm more than happy for everybody to do that. I don't have a problem with it. And we just... Get that brushing on there. And guys, at this state, if she starts to bend, or he, whatever you're making, if they start to bend, you can always just adjust it. I'm going to raise you guys slightly up because holding it that way is killing my arm. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn it here. And I'm just going to push this edge over. I'm not really worried about the edge. As far as looking pretty or being perfectly even. Because like I said, we don't know what we're doing from that point on. The only thing we do know for sure right now is the basis of her bus. Which is going to be a female creature. That's all we know. A female creature. I have to kind of wait to see what I see in her. Uh, someone text me, but that's okay. That's good. I like getting texts. And get that going. Let's 
So we're just going to pick out her body. Like I said, she'll be anywhere between five, three and uh, five feet tall when she's totally done. And it will take several lives. I will probably work on her in between lives. But I would definitely tell you guys every step I do if I do work on her. I do have two here. And I think since this one is a female, I just might turn that one into some kind of male. I'm going to go ahead and get the center here. If you're bending it and it's not straight, it's okay. Remember, we just want to catch it right now. This is our first coat. We are just working on catching all these little pieces. And at this point, guys, once she dries, if you just want to paint it, you can. Because you will have something base there to paint. And I'm going over this a lot, as you can tell. Not really adding much Mod Podge. When I go back over it, all I'm doing is trying to keep her foam. Because I do want this little foam right here. So I'm just making sure that it sticks. I can keep that. Sorry. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and rip another small piece off because we're going to walk right around the top. And we're just going to bring this right through here. And we're going to loop it. We're going to do the exact same thing, you guys. I'm going to start by adding Mod Podge, of course. I think I'll do it on the back. And then we'll catch what we got on the front dripping here. Sorry. And then we're going to go ahead and bring her down. And now we can get a better idea of her line of her body, how it is starting to form. And something happened. And then we're going to just poke it through. My hair is making my face itch. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like tickling me. <sighs> okay. The inside, if my inside is not perfect on this, I'm not going to worry about it right now. Because we, whew, that smells. And we all going to go back through it and be adding to it. So let's go ahead and get some of the basics here started. I can hold that just a little. Okay. And we'll go ahead and bring this piece. And we're just going to put it right here. And if a piece falls off, you guys, feel free to reuse it. You don't have to get mad and throw it. I do. But you don't have to. I get frustrated sometimes, too. And just reuse it. Even if it's soaking wet with glue, it doesn't matter. Just get it on there. Because right now we're just making something to hold on to. So... And we'll just kind of we'll go ahead and lay it down again. I'm going to do the same thing. I want to stab here, but I'm going to add a little bit more glue because I want it to really stab through, though. This is my whole base to hold on to whatever else I put on here. Whether I put more of this or something else, this is my base. So I want to make sure that they're catching on both sides because this is what's going to hold it all together. And that part wasn't, didn't catch. But that's all right. We'll do it from this side, that side. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and get another piece here. Sometimes I think the smaller pieces could be the better pieces. Depends on how long you're working or, you know, how long you're willing to work on your project. I keep saying whole because this one's female. Try not to say whole though. And we're just going to add some more Mod Podge. Just kind of wipe it down. Oh, there I go again. Kind of wipe it down here. And get our base showing. Now, if we were using uh, clay, it would just be like we're just molding it around the base. It would be a lot easier, but a lot more expensive and a lot more time consuming because it has to dry thoroughly. And, to be honest, since it would be a type of clay that would have to be air dry, if it got wet in the winter or moisture, I wouldn't, wouldn't know if it would melt it or not. I'm not positive on that. So I think using it this way is good because we can put a protectant sealant over hole, and we won't have to worry about it rotting or melt doing if we decide to put her outside. And this don't want to work, so we're going to lay it down. 
Hi, Grandpa. We're going to lay it down and just kind of get our hands dirty. Don't be afraid to get a little dirty, guys. Once this starts to stick, we got it made. It'll be so much faster. Unless you itch and want to scratch and you can't. Because hands are dirty, huh? <laughs> okay. So anyways, I hope you guys have all been doing well. It's been a while for me here. Whoops. Itchy bits. That's my dog, guys. I'm not calling someone a bad name. That's my dog. I did not name her. <laughs> she was not my dog. I inherited her. And that's what they named her. I did not do that. <laughs> Some people look at me like, Shana, what are you saying? I'm not what you think I'm saying, but it sounds like it. Although, technically, that is her name. And we're like, and don't say why you name her that. And she said because she's a little, okay, good enough. We never asked again. Because that's what a female dog is called, I guess. And that's what she decided. She won't need to turn the shutter set of lights on and close the curtain or get pixelation from the light. Oh, that'd be fine. Go ahead. Yeah. That'd be great, actually, because it's starting to hurt my eyes. The sun is coming through right through here. It's starting to hurt my eyes. And we'll just get this going. So, this is pretty simple. Well, it is pretty simple, you guys. But sometimes it's a little irritating because it wants to fall apart. And we don't want it to fall apart. Actually, Grandpa, if you can just get this side right here on the curtain. Because that's... What, oh, thank you. I will raise your guys' light so you can see better. There you go. Hopefully you can. Um, we'll go ahead. And we're going to come down here and get the bottom. I'm going to get the bottom here. I'm not going to do the very bottom, you guys, because this is going to probably end up being sewed with, like, wires or something into a bottom. So we may just go ahead. You know what? I think I'll just come so far, and we won't finish the very bottom because not only do I want to attach it to something, another section for the rest of the torso, but I'm also going, one of the designs in my head, we are going to turn this into like a very long labyrinth dress, but who says it's going to be a wonderful, beautiful dress, right? She could be a zombie by the time we're done. But So we'll just go ahead and go right here then. We'll just get this to connect because it's being stubborn. Sometimes I just want to put my hand in there and just go, wait, stay. But it'll stay eventually when it feels like it. Okay. I'm just going to take this little piece and put it right back here. So you guys just kind of judge where you need it. And like I said, this is just a first layer. It's going to fall off. It's going to be a pain. But after that, it's going to be cool. So. So we're just using Mod Podge in a little different way than what some people may have used it before. And try to get it stick through there. It's stuck in my hands. Bear with me. Okay, it's just gonna be stubborn. Let's paint the paper, show me. <laughs> All else fails, right? Especially since that paper will never be shown. And you don't want to do it all at once, you guys. Well, maybe in the summer you can because of the heat factor. But right now, I'm under an AC, so yeah, no. You want to do it all at once because it will, trust me on this, it will and can meld you. So you want to do one layer, let it totally dry, and then do your next layer, okay? Because you do not want it to meld you. Be all these reasons, you know, you don't want black mail or any type of mail in your home, and you certainly do not want to make a project that you may end up selling that will eventually cause someone to have some health issues. So, take your time with it. We're supposed to be doing the tree going up my sewing or my wall, but that's going to wait a little bit because I get to meet my grandbabies are coming, so we're not going to be starting that the way I originally had planned. So we're going to do this. But I get to meet my grandbabies. I'm so excited, you guys. I have never met them. 
and I'm thrilled to death to get to meet them. One is 11, so it'll be 12 by the time she gets here. No, so it'll be 11 by the time she gets here. No, I was right first time. I should trust myself, right? So it'll be 12, and the other one will be 13 when she get, when they come here. One birthday will just pass, and the other one we will celebrate here. So I guess here, it's up to the mama, of course. But I'm just excited. I get to meet them. No matter how you look at it, I'm excited. And one of them is a little artist, so woohoo! She loves artwork. And the other one is more of a magician type, a reader type, like my daughter. So yay! We will both have a lot of fun. We can do all kinds of projects. They can do this. This will not hurt them a bit. Um, of course, what's the very tip? Well, you can always do the tip, you guys, and then your kids can put the Mod Podge or paper mache, if that's how you want to do it, on there. Um, it can use a lot of Mod Podge, you guys. So I know it's more expensive than, like I said, the paper mache. So feel free to do it either way you want. I'm going to put a little on this and just kind of use it like a patch right here. Where'd it go? Okay, oh, it is. Because I can see it, but I couldn't. Okay, we're just going to kind of patch it and we'll make it stay. So all I'm doing is really just torn paper towels, a garbage basket from a Dollar Tree, and Mod Podge. And I think on next way I'm going to go ahead and stick with the Mod Podge because I started it that way. But on my other one, I think I might actually do the paper mache. And just make sure I set it out in the direct sun to dry totally. So I don't have to worry about it. And forgive the bird. He's being talkative. I bet there's a cat near or out the window or something. So I should say she is being talkative. Well, he was a boy. Cat's a girl. <laughs> Too many animals. Okay, so we got that part going. It's looking pretty good. The whole form is starting to catch. You're starting to be able to see some type of form in here. So we're going to go ahead and finish up our little side here. And my daughter telling the grandbabies don't be upset if the dogs don't like the other dogs and because they're bringing their animals. So it's okay. So we get this going, and I told him, I go, they'll like coming to Grandma's house. I got a candy machine. <laughs> I got a gumball machine. I got mini bending machines throughout the house. Well, technically I got three, but one has a five thing on it, and I'm going to do one or two. I'm going to sell it because even though it's supposed to go into a store somewhere, I can't lift it. Not with the way my back was severely injured, so I can't do it. So I may just get rid of that vending machine or break it into five. I've been looking at it. I'm like, wait, that can be made into five different vending machines and still work quite well and safely. So it's like, hmm. So I'm telling my grandkids, I got candy machines, and you don't have to put your money in it. I'll give you the money. I don't care. I just want to meet my grandbabies. I get to meet them soon. I'm so excited, you guys. Two months as soon as school's out. As soon as school's out. Okay. So, let me see. You guys also read my daughter. She has a page on here called Red Photos. If you like, you're welcome to check that out as well. She doesn't sell anything, it's strictly to bring beauty and enjoyment into the world. And she gets some more, you know. She's learning what people want in their paintings or, you know, photos, stuff like that. And she's a very good photographer. Okay. I feel like I've been talking you guys' heads off. I'm sorry. I wish you guys can, I wish we can see each other and you guys can talk at the same time. You know what I mean? So we can all just talk. <laughs> I guess perhaps someday that will be an option, huh? I'm going to go ahead and rip it right here. And just trying to get that to fold just because it's not catching. There we go. 
I know you didn't see it, but there was a bubble and it just wouldn't lay. So now we're going to go ahead. And remember, once this dries, we're not going to panic if something squirts because it still is very flexible. Okay, we can still work with this to get it to the exact point that we want it. I don't know what fell, but it wasn't a human or an animal, so we're good. Okay. Let me hold it here. I'm just going to put a little here. I'm not even going to bother trying to make this perfect right here at all. At all. Because we still have to all have the other ones, so we're not going to bother. We'll just try and get the very base down in case you're new and didn't hear before. We are trying to just get a base down. I'm using a Mod Podge on paper towel. You can use um, paper mache. And we are just attaching it. This is our first coat. So we're just using this as something to help support her. And give it so we can start really building her body up and out. Because I think she really will end up, hello Miss Melon, being a pretty decent size um, statue. There we go. My glasses is going to fall. Sorry. Okay. So I, I think you can see. Like I said, we don't have to worry about it all because we do have to add that extra bit. Let me pull it up here. So she's starting to form her shape. And hopefully this will give her a little bit more support. And then when we do the next part two or part two, we'll be able to go ahead and put on another layer. And on that second layer, guys, let me set this aside here because she has to just kind of dry now. I'm going to bring this guys closer and bring this up. Hi, watch your eyes. There we go. Hi, Daddy. So on this, um, at this, le at this level, you want to let her dry. Or him, however, whatever you do, you want to go ahead and let him hold dry, and um, this will get a little hotter, not hot enough that it's like solid, not yet. Because on next level, we would do the exact same process with one difference we are going to start molding and shaping her. So if you decide something in the front wasn't quite right, and it's either one way or the other. It's adjustable at that point still, even though you already did this. Um, if you want the waist thinner, and then the hips, because we're going to connect the hips on probably all next slide. We'll go ahead and attach the second part to this, and um, we're going to form that up. And what we're going to do with the hips is you get another one of these, you guys. That's why we could use this one. Just you know, like cut it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put through here wires, and we're going to do it like we're sewing it. Just pretend you're sewing and go through the little holes as close to each other as you can. So I don't know if you can tell, but there's little tiny holes there, and on the bottom little holes. Then when you put them together, try to catch the very underneath hole with the underneath hole. And just kind of seal it like that way. And that way, in case you decide you don't want to do the papering twice or the paper mache twice or the clay, depends on what you're using, you don't have to do it twice. Um, the first time, it will hide those wires. But on this particular one, we don't care because we're going to work with it. And the wires, because it's a creature, just may give it that extra character like on Frankenstein, you know how they sold them all together, but of course this is not Frankenstein. So anyways, you get the idea of how tall she's going to eventually be. This is only, oops, let me settle right there. That's only two together. And at this point, guys, let me raise you up so you can see her. If she was done, okay, and you had her all decked out, you can, and you don't want to do anything else to her. You're tired, you don't want to add a head or you want to make it, whatever your case is, whatever your preference are, you can go ahead and make it into a flower pot. Or she can be your candy holder at Halloween. You know, if you live in a place that you can set your candy outside and kids just help themselves. Um, you can do anything with her when she's done or at this point. 
and my hands are cold. So, I mean, it's just, it can be a lot of fun. And it's something you can definitely do with your grandkids and your children. Nieces, nephew, brother, sister, whatever you got, or just for yourself. And you can turn her into anything you want to turn her into. And so at this point, guys, I know my dinner isn't quite ready, but it sure is smelling delicious. So we're going to go ahead and call it good because she does have to dry. And we'll just wait until she dries. And until then, as always, be blessed.